Hey, what's going on, YouTube? So I kind of wanted to talk about this. And it's been on my mind for the past few days. I'm, I'm kind of worried about Grand Theft Auto V's expanded and enhanced. Like, I'm kind of worried that it's going to be very lackluster. And the reason why I feel this way is because there has been, like, little to no marketing for this. And any time they, tr they drop the trailer for this, it got mass backlash from the community. Like, when it, they first announced the Expanded and Enhanced back in 2020, I believe it was in mid-May, it had immense backlash from the community. Everybody was pissed off. Even Elon Musk, of all people, comes in on it. And then there was a new trailer that dropped, I believe, in October. I could be wrong on that. But the trailer dropped. It was terrible. It looked the gameplay footage they showed looked no different from the PS4 Xbox One gameplay footage. And this is supposed to be like a next gen version of Grand Theft Auto Online. Or Grand Theft Auto 5 in general. And it's really concerning because Take Two has come out and said that they believe that since you know their games are taking longer to make, new gen console or next gen console. Take Two believes that they should be charging us more than sixty dollars for a game, which means they're expecting us to pay what seventy to eighty, even like a hundred bucks, for just a standard version of a game. So what does that mean? Like, does that mean that like expanded and enhanced is going to be like what eighty dollars? That's what I'm worried. I'm, I'm worried about that. I'm worried about like game breaking glitches and bugs because we all remember what happened with the, with the grand theft auto uh trilogy remasters with gta 3 san andreas vice city we all remember what happened with that it was a disaster I don't eat, i talk about this multiple times on my channel and the worst part is nobody asked for this expanded and enhanced bs no one asked for this like literally it was gta 6 no one asked for expanded and enhanced like I, I don't even know anybody who's genuinely excited because like with me I don't want to get the next gen consoles until they stop supporting current gen so and that's and usually when they stop supporting current gen the next gen consoles prices drop so why should I buy a next gen console when they're barely ever even in stock because of you know vouchers and all that why would I go through the trouble of doing all that when I could just, you know, keep playing GTA 5 on current gen. Like, why would I torture myself like that? So it's, man, it's just so bad. Anytime a developer announces a game, then gives it very, very, very little marketing, nine times out of 10, that means the game is gonna be terrible. Like I said, with the GTA trilogy, I'm gonna use this as an example, actually. It's kind of weird because it has no relation to GTA. I remember back in 2019, Pokemon Sword and Shield, it was terrible. It was probably the worst Pokemon experience I've had. I'm not like a Gen 1-er in that case. Like I'm not like a day one Pokemon fan. I, I didn't play during like the whole red and blue era. I started playing during black and white era. And I went back and played the older games. Anyways, besides the point, I believe that that generation of Pokemon was terrible. Like Sword and Shield, it was terrible, it was awful. And there was little to no marketing with that game. They, they didn't reveal a lot of stuff with that game. And same thing with Expanded and Enhanced. I feel as if the lack of revealing anything means there's not going to be a lot of features. So why are we going to pay 60 to $80 for, for it? More than full price. And some of us would have to buy a new console just to play this game. So I don't think it's going to be worth it. And everything that was marketed for this game... Is it really worth paying full price or even $80 for? Like, what do they market for this game? New physics. Okay, cool. Showcase the physics in the trailer so we know what the physics look, looks like. Is it going to be like ragdoll physics like GTA 4? Is it going to be the physics of Red Dead Redemption 2? It's most likely just going to be GTA 5, but slightly better. It's not going to be this overhaul, and that's my prediction. That's not worth 60 to $80. Are they going to have like better looking graphics? From what we've seen, 
probably not. From what it looks like, it literally looks like a port. It literally, not even a remaster, a literal port. Like, at least with 360 and PS3 to PS4 and Xbox One, you could tell the difference between the graphics for GTA V. For those two versions of GTA V, at least. You can tell the difference between the, gla between the uh, gra graphics, but with the uh, expand and enhance, I see no difference. Unless they're using old gameplay footage from current gen consoles, and I don't know why the hell they would do that. It just doesn't make sense to me. And not even just the graphics, like, they're adding three exclusive new cars, I guess, to next gen, and they're, they're gonna have the chameleon paint jobs. But ask yourself, they can easily they can easily add that in current gen. So why the hell would I pay sixty to eighty dollars for that now? Oh, but let's not let's 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 not forget the, the the number one selling point for expanded and enhanced that everybody's excited about. Everybody their mother's excited about like like everybody just like won't stop talking about it. Seamless character switching. You you switch you no know, you know how you switch between Michael Franklin and Trevor in story mode, you, it it takes slightly less time to switch between those two between those three characters. That's that's eighty eighty dollars right there. Where's my wallet, man? Where's my wallet? I I gotta get that right now. Like, what the fuck are, is Rockstar thinking, bro? Thinking that we're gonna pay sixty to eighty dollars for this for this, and then like. Even if it's free, let's say it's free, because I've heard that it's going to be free for PlayStation players for the first three months of release. Even if it's free, they do realize they have to buy like a $500 to $700 console with the PS5. You have to buy the console, and then you got to buy Play PlayStation uh, Plus and, or whatever the equivalent is, Xbox Live or PlayStation. And it's like, no, not everybody has, like, the money just to drop $600 on a console just to get this one game. Like, with me, I'm playing it where I'm just going to get a new console when they stop supporting current gen. Like, they stop producing, like, let's say they, they announce the, ne the next Assassin's Creed or whatever, and it's only for next gen. Or they announce the next Far Cry, whatever game I play. They only announce it for next gen. That's when I say to myself, yeah, I think it's time to uh, get a new console. But I I'm just going to ride with my Xbox One until the wheel falls off, honestly. Why are we paying $60 for these stupid miscellaneous features? Most of the features have not even been showcased. And then the online exclusives, like these three new cars, that are probably going to be like overpriced as hell. And... These chameleon paint jobs. Why are we going to pay sixty to eighty dollars, or possibly spend six hundred dollars on a new console that's usually never in stock? Why are we spending this money f for these m features? The majority of these features can be added in current gen right now, like the cars, chameleon paint jobs. This, th these can easily be added to current gen, and they expect us to drop, like I said, sixty to eighty dollars for this. And like I don't even know the full price for this game. I'm I'm just assuming they're gonna charge us full price because they charge us sixty dollars for the uh, trilogy remaster. And look how bad that turned out. That's another thing I'm worried about is glitches. Like I'm just worried about game breaking glitches with this game. And like Rockstar has been losing a lot of credibility these past six months, ever since the whole. Well, I want to say it's their credibility started to like lose its grip around the Blood Money DLC for Red Dead Online, and then there is the GTA uh, Trilogy, then the new Expanded and Enhanced trailer that came out around October. They've been losing credibility, and then all these fanboys are just going to dick ride Rockstar like it's fucking nothing, or they're just going to defend them no matter what, and if you critique them, then you're a hater or, or whatever. So honestly, just watch your, watch your guys' wallets, be very wary. Do not do not pre-order this because we don't want another disaster with the whole GTA trilogy. That's all I'm saying is is be very wary. Be very wary of expanded and enhanced, and I'm really worried about it. And I don't think a, a lot of people are actually talking about this, and there, a lot of people need to talk about this due to the lack of information for expanded and enhanced. But with that all being said, hope you guys enjoyed my little rant here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm sorry to do live streams. I'm, I'm going to try to do live streams about every Saturday. 
but go ahead and drop a like and if you did enjoy what i had to say in this video go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already where i, I usually post like commentary about video games rockstar games more in particular but i'll see you guys in the next video guys take care